Uh, Margaret Food Bank, I think, is a great time for us to reconnect with 15 or so um, people in the industry that we typically see every year at Margaret Food Bank, a couple new faces, and just meeting new people. It's always a pretty busy atmosphere, and for the times that you are allowed to look up from plating a million small plates uh, and have a conversation with someone, it's a great starter for someone to see your food, uh, especially being a caterer. They're not 100% familiar with us, so it's a great way for them to see uh, an item and, and break that ice. It really hit us hard, and so we, uh, we had to immediately stop production of everything. Um, so it, it hit us hard and it was a moment to figure out how we were going to move forward and it was uh, it was scary. It was terrifying uh, a couple of months and figuring that out and helping and calling the uh, health department and calling other restaurants and caterers and kind of seeing what they were doing to, to move forward. Uh, it was it was a uncertain time for sure. One of our customers, uh, Ashton Technology Solutions in Beechwood, um, used to have a staff meal once a month. And since they shut down operations at the office for March and April and May, they actually paid us in full for those meals and asked us to go out and donate food to a homeless shelter uh, that we chose every month. So that was amazing for them to do and uh, it helped us kind of keep going and keep that relationship with our vendors and uh, it was it was a great way to give back i know how important it is um, for children and families as a whole to have nourishment and food and um, you know, some, some people just don't have access to that and to have an organization that can come together and feed people that don't have that, it's just, you know, we need that. We absolutely need it. My business was affected with the stay at home order and um, by way of actually my business picked up. I got busier, people um, were staying home and um, of course not being able to get out. So they were being creative, they, they cooked more, they had more wine, you know, more nights at home with family and sharing and uh, a lot of people um, enjoyed the wine and wanted to make sure they had that while at home. I've seen the community step up um, once the stay at home order and the COVID um, pandemic uh, um, started um, by way of um, just supporting uh, businesses, more small businesses in their communities. Um, people uh, were concerned uh, that we couldn't all stay open, so they came out and they support in a big way. The community has learned probably more than anything about uh, places in, their, in the community that they may have not known were there. Um, <clears throat> I think that people um, have also learned that um, life is fragile and uh, we have to appreciate each other and let everybody know that we love each other. Let your family know, let your coworkers, your friends, everybody know that we love each other and we are all in this together. And I think that uh, people have just learned to, to uh, unite more um, over the past few months from the pandemic and everything that's going on um, as far as um, politically. You know, I think supporting the Greater Cleveland Food Bank is, is critically important any time, you know, whether we're in a pandemic or not. And I've been a longtime supporter of the organization. Um, you know, we live in a country where nobody should ever go hungry, and yet they do each and every day. And this is one of the organizations that helps mitigate that. Uh, I think it's important. You know, it's interesting, our, our business has definitely been impacted by the stay-at-home order, more because the bars and restaurants were closed. And so that's a significant part of our business, probably 20%, if not more, of our business just sort of went away uh, on day one. Now, that gave us some opportunities as well. We, you know, moved staff around, they're doing different things, making hand sanitizer, donating everything we make. And uh, I think it's, uh, uh, you know, sometimes the, the the worst times create some opportunities and realization that we can be a better organization because of it. I think one of the things we've learned as a community and we continue to learn is that we are stronger when we work together. That uh, despite whatever differences we have, whether they're political or economic or whatever, we can, we're all part of the same 
team, the same society. And uh, uh, we've also learned that it's important to take care of our neighbors. Now, that's where the Cleveland Food Bank comes into play, that that is, uh, that's, that's a way for us to help take care of our neighbors. And, uh, and that's whether it's health or food or nutrition or any number of the things that that where there are problems, we can do it far better by uh, by partnering.